Hello, this is David with BrainDesign.com and it has been almost exactly three months since I first announced that I was going to be studying a program called Face Shift. And uh, so three months since I've been or since I discovered this thing and saw the potential in it. And a uh, another fellow named Menace Man a rapper in San Francisco also saw the potential in this amazing software for facial motion capture and so uh, student loan yes please so uh, this is what I've come up with so far or this is something I made today I had to put together 48 different face morphs for his character and what he wants is a 3D model of him rapping in one of his videos. Just about done here. So I wanted to just give a quick little update to what I got going on. So here I just randomly took a bunch of the morphs and uh, played around with it and made that. Not a big deal, just kind of showing off. So let's get down to the workflow of what it's like to work with 3D Studio Max and Face Shift. So this is a face that I made. Here's what it looks like without any turbo smooths on. Pretty decent typology. So in order to get this to work with face shift, what you have to do is you have to actually import. You import, go to, to uh, wherever your face shift folder is, usually it's in your C drive, program files, face shift, and then you go to your resources, targets, and then you pick the motion capture. And you can import this, which I've already done, into your, to your uh, scene here. So I'll go ahead and unhide that. And here it is. This is one of the faces that face shift uses as a, uh, what would you call it, um, a model or like a mannequin, you know, it's it's the built-in face that they use it for demonstration purposes. So here it is, and basically they allow you to import this into 3D Studio Max or any program that does 3D graphics as an FBX, F B X file, which retains a lot of information. It's an amazing file format. It retains materials, it retains face morphs, uh, the skeletons, everything. Every, it, it's amazing. It's not. I'm not sure uh, the difference between this and an object file, but FBX is very powerful. And you use that file extension to, you know, transport your files between many programs. In this case, Face Shift handles this file format. It handles a few others, but so far this seems like the best one. So here it is, and it comes with a skin and a morpher on it. So you just click on the morpher and here's all your morphs you need. And there are, you know, 40, 48, 48 morphs. And I'd say about half of them are um, focused on one side of the face so you really only have to model like 30 of them and then you can mirror the rest over using this awesome little script I found called Santa Mirror Morph which allows you to pick your base head and then pick the target of the face that you want to mirror to the other side and it will actually create a mirror that changes your vertice, uh, what do you call them, IDs, because each vertice has an ID, and if you just mirror the face, those IDs will be mirrored too. So then when you try to morph to it, it will invert your face and look all weird. So this script takes that into account and actually does it correctly with a click of the button. So thank you whoever made that. So after you make all those, which I did, and it took a couple days, I didn't realize it was going to take so long, but you got to get that part right. 
So you go to your morpher, and you know you've got eyebrows coming down. You've got uh, where's the jaw open? You know, and you got the teeth and the tongue. Admittedly, I ripped off the teeth and the tongue from the face shift model because it was already wired up and ready to go. Of course, when I submit this project for you know the, the final render, final production, I will replace this with my own teeth and tongue. But for now, that did not seem like something worth uh, creating from scratch at this time. I just wanted to get a tech demo done, and that served my purpose very well. So there it is. I've got all these face morphs on it. So then what you do is you select the whole thing, right, J to show the box out there, and you go to export, and you export selected, and you export it as an FBX. You have a lot of options, but it's the top one, FBX. And I export it to, you know, whatever, where, wherever you want to. And I already did that. So then you open up Face Shift. And I don't have the best lighting right now, but that's irrelevant. I'm not going to train my face to this. Tomorrow I'm going to do that. I'm going to train my face when I have some good lighting. Open up my windows and get some daylight in here. I don't have a lamp at the moment. So what we do is we go to training. And I am on training already. So what we want to do is down here on target. Right now it's set to none. And you can set it to all these different targets. You can set uh, like a, a motion capture target. So if there we go. So it'll give you the default face to follow your motion. And it would do a lot better job if I had better light on me right now, but I don't. So you have all these different ones to choose from. And here's another one. I'm going to go ahead and close this max file because I think it's slowing things down. Yes, it certainly is. I'm going to pause this real quick, get back to you when this... Oh, I guess it's fixed now. Okay. So are you going to let me close you now? No, you're still frozen. Okay. I'm going to pause. All right, there we are. So, you know, there's all these different models, but I'm not interested in those. I want to make my own. So, we import. And then we go to load target. And short claws, desktop. Hey, menace man. And the file that I created is called... I forget. So let's sort by... I can't sort by date? Shame on you, face shift. Alright, I'm pretty sure it's... Uh, where is it? Right there. It's face shift import. Um, no, it's final three. <laughs> Alright, so there it is. Oh, look at that. It made it green for some reason. It took away all the textures and it lowered it to the lowest resolution. When I first saw that, I freaked out. I'm like, that's not what I want. But it's not a big deal. So now we just make this guy bigger. Just increase the scale. There he is. I'm still recording. Okay. So we increase the scale. And you want to, your joints, there's only three joints. You just got to define these real quick. So these are your joints for your bones, and you just got to tell it, these are the defaults right here on the left. These are your references. These are the things that you have to uh, associate to the targets that are relevant to your character. So joint neck, target would be joint neck. And that only exists because it's part of the FBX file that came with my model. I actually have a point, a point, a joint called joint neck, rather a bone called joint neck. So we select that, 
joint I left. Hello, oh, joint I left. And of course, joint I right. And so that takes care of that. Now here's the part, here's the grunt work. Here's the part that takes a little while. And here's another shame on face shift. Uh, they want you to sort your files by date, and these are all out of order. When I imported their FBX file, this was the order that all the, all the morphs were in. I just copied and pasted it, the, the modifier. I copied and pasted it onto mine. This was the order they came in. But in the program itself, this is the order they come in. It's not the same. Kind of annoying. But you deal with it. So, because <laughs> you have to. So we go into, let's say, jaw open. So we select that, and then we find, it gives you a reference here, we find jaw open on my guy. So then we put that to 100 so that they're the same. All right, click OK. Now you got to go through, of course, and set all of them. But there's my character. Let's just zoom in a little bit. Uh, so I move in, and it doesn't look that impressive. See the teeth? The teeth aren't following him. Obviously, I only have one, one uh, morph keyed in, so it looks terrible. I know, it looks terrible, but with just this one morph keyed in, I haven't taken the time to go through the rest yet, or create a profile that actually fits my face. This is just the default without anything else. So, after this, you click record, and you record yourself doing something. Hey, what's up? Okay. All right, then you click it again, and blah, 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 yes. And it keeps it. There it is. Hey, hey, what do you know? So then, after it makes it, you just export the sequence as an FBX, which I've already done. And here is the file, if my computer will cooperate. And it does. So I just created a quick thing just using this one face morph. Or there are a couple, I think jaw, left, and right movement as well. But this is it right here. You just import it, and it just adds the animation in keyframes Two, it replaces, all it does, you keep it the same name, and it replaces the file you already had and just adds the animation to it, keeping the skin, your turbo smooths, your edit polys, or whatever. It keeps everything intact and just adds the animation to it. So, at the lowest res, like this, this is how it animated it while it was in face shift. But, once you bring it back into 3D Studio Max, you just add your Turbo Smooth back to it, and it's good as new. So you're not getting a perfect, uh, you're not getting a perfect model in real time in Face Shift, but that's not that big of a deal, really. It's not. It's good enough, and I'm sure you could probably figure out how to do that, but I haven't figured it out yet. So here it is, basically. You know, I just wanted to test moving my head. Um, the eyes disappear a little bit there because they got out of the camera. But that can be fixed. And so it runs real smooth on the timeline. It looks good with one iteration, one turbo smooth on it. It runs well, seems responsive. In my next video, of course, I'll have a rendered version of this with all the face morphs intact, and we'll get to see what it really looks like. <laughs> oh, this is cool, man. This is cool technology. This is this is amazing. I'm really glad that this is working out. I've made it really far so far. And hallelujah. Menace man.